Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet this adorable um, camper keychain. So um, it's very practical if you have an RV, um, you can put it on your keys for that. Or just in general, I think it's an adorable gift for someone you know who uh, likes camping. So um, this is not my pattern, but um, I just made this video for fun. And if you have uh, any questions about the original pattern, you can check out the link in the description box below um, for the actual pattern. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need um, is yarn. So I'm using three different shades of Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton Yarn. I'm using white, um, this is like a stormy gray, and then some yellow. This is some scrap yarn, so I'm just using it as the accent color in our RV. And then I'm gonna be needing some fray check just for some of the edges. Um, a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. The pattern originally says four, but I found like a 3.5 uh, 3 millimeter worked well for me. You're also going to need two buttons. These are two different colors, but um, anything that works for you, you can use black. Um, then you're going to need a yarn needle and a sewing needle that is small enough to go through the eyes of your buttons. So make sure that's the case with your sewing needle. But, um, and then of course you're gonna need some scissors. So um, let's begin. So to start off, we're gonna use our accent color right here. And we're going to make a slip knot. Insert our hook and we're going to chain 11. Okay, so you should have 11 chains here. So now in the first, the second stitch from hook, I'm going to insert a single crochet. So it should look like that. And then I'm going to insert one in every chain all the way across until we get to the last stitch. Okay, so once you reach the end of, and you've done, you've done 10, you should have 10 single crochets. You're going to chain one very loosely. So I'm gonna do it like that because in the same stitch, we're going to insert two single crochets. It'd be hard to get into that first stitch that's why you want it to be nice and loose so just try to maneuver your way in okay and then you're gonna do oh my goodness okay you're gonna do two single crochets in this one stitch so an increase one two and then you're gonna do nine stitches and single crochet. So you're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
And then in the last stitch here, you're going to do another increased crochet like you did in the first stitch. So just trying to dig in your hook into that last stitch. There we go. And then you're going to insert two in here. Okay, so you should end up with this row. There are a few frayed edges, but that's okay. A few frayed stitches. You should end up with 12 crochets all along. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. So for the next rows, you're going to chain one and just do and um, insert a single crochet in every stitch across, starting with the second one from hook. This yarn keeps splitting. Okay, so you're gonna do, you should do 12 crochets all the way till the end. Let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So you're going to repeat this for the next row. So you're going to chain one, second stitch from hook, um, single crochet in every stitch till the end. And after this row, we are going to change to our white yarn. Okay, so now that we've reached the end, it might look kind of weird over here. But trust me, once you combine both sides, it's hard to notice. So you're going to take your white yarn, or whatever contrast color you choose, and you're going to make a slip knot. And then you're going to make a slip stitch to attach. So you have your hook on your yellow yarn and this over here, and you're just going to pull this tight, your yellow yarn, and slip that in. So kind of like that, Ooh, except we want, let me do this again. You want the outside of your slip knot to be on the outside of the stitch. So you'll see what I mean in just a minute. Insert and attach likewise. Okay, it should look like this. For the next rounds, uh, for rounds five through seven, you're gonna chain one and insert every uh, single crochet in every stitch until you have, till you've reached the end. So I'm gonna do 12 stitches with my white yarn now. Okay, so we're here, and you're gonna chain one and turn and repeat this until you have, until you've reached round seven, and I'll meet you there. Okay, so we've reached the end, we've, uh, not the end, but we've done two more rows, so you should be in round seven, or row seven, and it should look something like this. And next, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and we're going to do a single crochet two tog. So if you don't know how to do this, it's just you insert your hook, pull up a loop, 
Insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up another loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then you're going to single crochet eight, three, four, five, Okay, so once you reach eight, you're going to do another single crochet two tog. So you're gonna insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, uh, yarn over, pull up a loop, hold tight here, yarn over, and go through all three loops. So next, we're gonna do this again for the next stitch, except um, since we already decreased, we're going to decrease more. So we're going to do a single crochet two tog, a single crochet six, not eight, five, six, and once you reach the last two stitches, do a single crochet two tog. So that's the end. You can take your scissors, cut off the tail, and sew with the yellow, and yarn over, pull through to fasten off. Now, don't um, cut any of your ends yet because you'll see what happens in the next, the next part. So this side looks ideal, I guess, and this side doesn't, but. Um, You'll see how it'll all work out. So, uh, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make this again because um, the, the keychain has two sides. So, um, you're gonna make another one and then I'll teach you how to make the door. Okay, so we just finished, I mean, I just, I just finished um, the, second, the second side of our camper. So we have all our ends out here. Um, the goal is to sew these together and it'll be the base of our camper. So now we're gonna start on our door. We're going to start with our, um, in the pattern it calls it color A. So this is our yellow, our base. So to begin, I'm going to create another slip knot Oh, it didn't work out very well. There. Um, I'm going to create a slip knot, insert my hook, and chain four. Okay, so next I'm going to insert a single crochet in my second chain from hook, and then all the way across. So my chains aren't super neat. Um, cause I, this yarn frays a lot and also, yeah. So for the next, uh, three rounds, rounds two through four, I'm going to just chain one and single crochet three stitches. Chain one, turn my work, insert three single crochets. Oops, sorry. Okay. Oh my goodness, okay. And then one more. Just quick three single crochets, okay. So, is that it? No, over here. Sorry, these stitches are kind of tight and hard to crochet. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's splitting and I don't even care. <laughs> so there's the first part of my drawer. It's a little loopy, you know, if you want yours to be tighter. Um, I don't know. But once you add it to the door, it'll kind of blend in anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, but next... 
Next, we're going to add in our white yarn. Um, we're gonna attach it the same way we did to the base by creating a slip knot. So what I did here is that I did the same thing I did with these rows. I just chained one and um, single crocheted two rows, you know, turned my work and stuff. So that's pretty much what I just did. And next, then I used fray check, um, which I like to use on the corners just to, it's like, I don't really like weaving in my ends because it just, for me, it takes too long and this is such a little small piece. So um, I just add them some fray check to all my corners. It's really nice. It's kind of like a, it's a fabric glue, I guess, uh, made for, frayed ends, frayed, uh, yeah, so stuff like that. So I just dabbed a little bit in every corner and it's totally up to you if you want to do this or not. So um, this is just, it might not be the best way, but this is what I did. So once you have your door um, and once your fray check is dried or if you've done, if you're done weaving in your ends, you can snip off the corners. Um, the only backlash of doing fray check, uh, of using fray check, is that you are going to have little stubs, you know, at the corners, so they're not going to be super neat, but um, it's just my option, you know, of weaving my hands, so, um, so yeah, so next thing you're going to do, we are going to do, is we're going to work on the embroidery for the windows, um, on our camper, so let's let's start with that. Okay, so what I have here is a nice, let's say like what, twenty inches, twenty inch or so or so piece of dark gray yarn, which is what we're going to be using. And I have my actual keychain here as a reference, so you can just see what we're going to be doing. So right now we're going to work on the back windows since we don't have the door uh, ready yet. So um. We're gonna count, it looks like one, two, three stitches from the end. So that's one, two, and then the third stitch, we're going to go underneath, find that third stitch. We're gonna pull it up. And we're just gonna leave a nice little tail here. Uh, pretty small, you know, we don't want it too big, but um, we're going to take our tail and then we're going to start counting. We're going to do four stitches to our left. So we're going to go one. If you don't know how to do this, you just go through the back, pull through, and then go here. And this, this stitch we already worked through. And pull through. Um, and then we're going to do this two more stitches. Okay. And then the last one. Okay, so you should have four. And then you're going to do, you're going to go up and do two more. So you can kind of find here that stitch, pull through, do that twice, nice, okay, and then, uh, also, while, uh, just before we move on, I just wanted to point out that make sure you're doing this on the right side, uh, where the the white yarn makes like a V on the yellow because if you do it here, it'll look not as pretty as your uh, for your camper. So make sure you're doing it on the pretty side um, of your work. So to continue, now we're gonna do three stitches to our right. Your end might get tangled up, but it just makes for more secure. Um, back.
So the instructions in the actual pattern don't really, aren't super specific about this. So I just tried to copy what I saw in the picture on the website, which works. So yeah, so once you do three, then you're going to go, this is kind of tricky because you're going to go in between stitches. So you're not going to go into this bottom one, but you're going to go kind of like slightly there. So you can make a hole in the front and try to find it through the back. So that works. Go backwards, pull that stitch through, and then you're going to go through the bottom as well. Okay, so there's your first window. Um, they're all gonna look different. You know, this one doesn't look just like this one, but um, we're gonna use the same kind of pattern. To do the next one, it's the same thing, just mirrored. So um, you can replay that. Uh, I'm gonna just do the beginning with you. I'm trying to untangle this. <laughs> okay. Sorry, this is very annoying. Okay, so for the next part, you're just gonna work the same thing. So I'm gonna do this with you. We're gonna start up on the top actually by skipping a stitch, as you can see. We're gonna go down two. Just um, try to make that shape. If you've never done this type of stitch before, back stitching, I think it's called. Uh, maybe it's not, I don't know. But you can just search it up. It's pretty simple. Um, or you could just keep replaying this video, but I'm just going to do. I love the minimal amount of sewing in this pattern. Honestly, there's really not much at all because we're just doing embroidery with this this yarn here and then for to sew both parts together we're gonna use uh, a crocheted slip stitch so we're we're really not doing any sewing at all um, the only part the, the only reason you need a sewing needle is because of the wheels when we attach the wheels you know we want or, you know this can't fit through so we're gonna want something big enough uh, or small enough that can so for this last one I'm just gonna do a half go into the half crochet because I don't want to go all the way towards the end that's what I did over here as well I don't know if you can tell but I'm gonna pull it through and go back and then we're just gonna repeat what we did over here and I'll meet, um, I'll meet up with you when I'm finished. Okay, so you should be finished by now. And it looks great, you know? We got the little edges over here. Looks like a cute little camper. So and you should have some extra yarn. So if you want, you can do a little French knot. Um, so, or just, you know, a regular knot. Just pull it through tightly and trim it. So we're not gonna worry about this, you know, we're done with this side. To start the next side, you're gonna get this and your door should be, if you used fray check, your door should be dried by now. So you can trim off the edges. See how it leaves a little, <laughs> it leaves like a few little frayed things and it doesn't look the best but it's okay because once it's all blended in we can tuck in these little edges while we're sewing the door on so to do this you're gonna get your gray yarn and you're gonna cut a piece about the same size as the last one um, it all depends so I cut mine like right here uh, yeah it's about the same size And I'm going to put it into my yarn needle. Okay, make 
sure you get <laughs> make sure you get all your ends into the eye ah it's kind of frustrating um you may notice that i'm using a metal yarn needle with like this cool curved edge um i've just become accustomed to using these I find that it works really well with the, the curve and you can probably find them. I'm actually not sure where you can find them because this one's kind of old. Um, I just found it around and I think it works great. So if you can if you can try to put your hand, grab your hands on the, one of these, um, that's, that's a great idea. It's a great idea. Okay, so I started working on attaching my door. So, um, Basically what I did is I tried to align the door uh, with the RV. So this part, the yellow part, isn't exactly gonna be with this. And um, I think that's how it's meant to be. So um, when you're attaching your door, you're gonna want it to the right, um, you know, kind of centered. So I use this stitch um, all the way across this area. So I'm just going to repeat it on this side and this side, and I'll meet you there when I'm done. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you how to do the doorknob. So to do this, um, you're gonna find, I would say this stitch looks good. So you can just make like a little, a little hole. And then through the back, you're gonna insert your needle into that area. And pull through. So to do the doorknob, you're just gonna do a French knot. Um, for me, that's just, I make a circle. Here, I'll pull this up a little. I make a circle and then I wrap around, insert my hook. So it's like that. And then I pull tightly. And then I'm gonna pull back, not into the same stitch, but into one right next to it. And there we go. There's our doorknob. So now you're just gonna do a window just like this. So these are the same thing as these. So it's the same thing. Um, you're just gonna Insert, you're gonna start right here in this area and then work it through there and um, then you're done with all the embroidery. Now that you've finished both, uh, you shouldn't have cut any of the ends. Um, oh, actually, I'm gonna trim this one because it's a little long, but you shouldn't have trimmed them. You could tie a little knot if you wanted in the back, but everything should be pretty loose. So how we're gonna tie these two parts together is that we're going to use a crochet slip stitch. So we're gonna take our yellow and create a slip knot and insert our hook. And we're gonna line both of these up together. And we're gonna kind of like push all our ends towards the inside that's the main reason that we're we're doing this so that we don't have to cut any of these ends and it doesn't look bad so we're gonna try to like push everything inside and we're gonna line them up just like that so we're gonna start with the bottom so we're gonna Work our way over here. Insert our hook. Go through both sides and do a, a slip stitch. And we're gonna do slip stitches. All the way around. So make sure that you're keeping everything inside as you're going along. You want everything to be nice and neat. 
Make sure all your stitches are aligned, that it's looking good. And it doesn't matter what side you're working on. Like if you're starting on this side, that's good too. That's fine. Um, you know, as long as you're getting the whole gist of things. So it also doesn't specify any of this in the pattern. But um, just to keep things sturdy, this is what we're doing. So we're gonna uh, keep going like this until we reach the end of the yellow, and then we're gonna um, make another slip knot with our white, just like we've been doing the whole time, attach things, make sure everything's tucked in, and I'll teach you how to do the handle. So I'll meet you once we switch to the white. Okay, so we've we've finished the yellow, we attached the white, and we're at the first corner for the white. Now here's where you can decide what side you want your, um, your loop to be on. So the first one here, I did it with the door. Um, on other ones though, I've seen it on this side. So this is actually what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make my loop on here. If uh, if you don't want it on the side, you can just keep crocheting until you get to this side and chain 22. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm going to chain 22, four, five, or meet once I get to 22. So I have 22 chains here. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to slip stitch into, you could do the stitch right next to it or the same stitch, it's up to you. Let's see, it looks like that, which is great. And then we're gonna continue slip stitching till the end. So you may have noticed that we still have some, or that we have a frayed end here and here too, but it's so much better than having a bunch more that you don't need. So let's just keep doing this until we reach the end. And once we reach the end, we can tuck this one too. And um, I'll go over how to attach the buttons. Yay, so we're finished with this part of our RV. We've done the door, we've done the little windows, all that stuff, and the little handle. So I'm just going to fray check some loose ends we got here. We're gonna do this one. And then I think I can actually stuff this one back in maybe with this. So. Okay, I might not need to do this, but I'm gonna do, pull this nice and tight and Crochet that there. Okay, so looking good. So to attach our two wheels, um, what I have is I took the gray yarn and I split it until I had two ends. So I just took it and I found, showing you an example, it has four little ends and I took two and I kind of pulled it apart. So I did that until I got this. And this is perfect because it's the consistency that I want. And that will go through both this and my buttons. So I'm going to thread that needle. So it should look like this. And it's about same inch piece as all my other threads about 20 inches, 18 inches, something like that. So I'm going to pick the one that I want on the side of my door. So let's see, do I want green or do I want red? I kinda want green. So I'm going to start by positioning my button where I want it. So I think I want it, I think towards 
this area. And I kind of want it off a bit because, you know, my wheels aren't, you know, they're, they're nice, you know? They're, they're not all totally on top, but they work. So I'm going to find one of these stitches and insert the needle into my hole and pull through. I'm going to have a little tail. Notice how I'm not knotting any of my tails because just in case I mess up, it's easier to redo. Just take it out. And then I'm going to find the, cro the one across, the hole across, and insert that also into the chain and pull through. And this is where you can attach the other button by pulling it through there as well. Get all these ends doing that. And you can go across and through. This whole um, wheel attaching thing is honestly whatever whatever you want it to be, honestly. Because it's, you know, it's pretty simple. You're just attaching these buttons, but you want it to have that nice crisscross look to it. Pull that through. So there's really no right or wrong to doing this. Um, when I was making the blue one, I just attached one button at a time, but I figured that it'll be easier to do two at a time. Um, but as you can see, the other one worked. So uh, just, just find a method that you can figure out easily. Yeah. It's gonna be kind of hard to get it through all the yarn and stuff because this isn't a yarn needle, it's a sewing needle. Ah, so you can try to get it out. It's not like it's, it's just hard to get through. And then, there we go. So, um, pull this stuff away. There we go. And then whenever you're ready, you can switch to this side. So it looks like we have two. I'm just going to go through this again. And then to start the next round, I'm going to go through here and out and through. I don't know, it's all up to you. So um, I'm going to finish this up and then I'll show you how to tie it off and finish your keychain. Okay, so I just finished Tying this off, so I'm. Uh, I ended up in the center, which is just what I want. So I'm gonna take a nice little piece, and I'm going to do a knot. Pull it through both ties, nice and tight. It's kind of a weird knot, but whatever. Um, and you can do it again if you feel comfortable with that. If you want it to be nice. Tighter. Um, if your came, if yours came out too loose, there we go. your push everything out of the way here is your homemade crocheted camper so um it's you know it has the back it's it's great so to attach to a keychain i'm gonna attach it to this one
this is not my pattern this is the link to the pattern is below but um i really hope you enjoyed this so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you